What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today we've got an interesting video and that's how to open up a combination padlock when you don't know what the code is. So a lot of people tend to forget what their code is or you might have an old padlock like this one here sitting around your house and you're not sure what the code is. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to figure out what the old code was and also how to reset it. So this one here is a three wheel combination lock. They generally come in three or four wheels. The process is gonna be exactly the same. This one here is made by Master, um, which is a very good, reputable company, makes locks all around the world, but that's not gonna stop us from being able to crack the code. So the first thing we want to always try is the default code. So many people don't change a code when buying locks and the default code is triple zero in this case or if you've got four wheels it'll be four zeros. So let's turn these over to the zeros, lining them all up with that red line and then pull on that shackle. So once that's open we can then push that down on the back side and we can change the code. So if you wanted to change the code you can now change the code up here reapply that shackle and that's now changed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scramble this, cover it with my hand so that we can't see what the new code is and we're gonna have a live example to see how to crack the code. So let's just shuffle this one here up. I'll try and click all of them in position. Pull that shackle out, close it and then re-scramble the lock. So now we've got a lock that we don't know what the code is. First thing we need to do, line all of these up any number, doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's straight in line with that line here. What we're gonna do next is pull on the shackle, we're gonna apply a little bit of tension, and what that does is that causes these wheels to bind up just a little bit so that you can feel some sort of uh, feedback from the wheels. You can also hear the difference in the clicks, you might find a bit of resistance in the wheels, and at the same time, you might see the shackle moving back and forward just slightly. So let's apply a little bit of tension by pulling on the shackle, pushing it away from the body of the lock and we want to start on either side. So I tend to find um, the most, most amount of tension will be on the furthest wheel away. So we'll start on this one here, clicking it over one by one very slowly. We want to listen and feel for any kind of difference um, or feedback that comes from that wheel. It tends to usually come right before the click. So I felt that move just slightly on the four, so I'll leave this one where it is. We'll move on to the next one. Possible feedback on number two, so we'll leave that one and move on to the next one again. And I just felt that shackle move. So we'll leave this one where it is. We'll go back to the start and double check again. So back on number four. This now has binded up. So what that happens is once you've got a bit too much pressure on here, the wheel will actually bind up. So what you need to do, take the pressure off the shackle, move that number back, reapply the tension, and check the numbers again. So once again, take that pressure off. Once again, the feedback is back on the number four. We'll try the middle one. I felt that move slightly. We'll leave that on the seven. Go back to the start. does take a bit of time, but that's part of the fun. Leave that one on the five, go back here. Back on the two. I 
very constant feedback on this one here on the four. So I'm pretty sure this one here is the four. Could be the first one that's wrong. And there we have it. So that code there was 574 and we've now cracked this code. What you want to do once you've done that, once again, push the shackle in, reset the code to something that you'll remember this time, like triple zero. Pull it out, reinstall the shackle, and we're ready to go. Another thing that we can do is rather than pulling on the shackle with your hands, that tends to absorb some of the shock that comes through these wheels, what you can do is attach it to something metal. So I'm just going to use that a belt clip on the back of my utility knife, slot that through, and by holding onto that, we're able to get a little bit more of the impact coming through, and that'll give you a bit more feedback. So once again, let's reset this code, triple zero, open that up, lock it in place, we'll scramble it, get these lined up. I'm not too concerned with not knowing the code at the moment. And then once again, we'll pull this time using the metal clip that will give us a little bit more of the feedback. So once again, line these up into position, pull that tension on, and we want to run through these once again. So we'll do a little bit quicker this time. Not getting much feedback on this middle one. We'll move on to the next one. Take the tension off. Leave that one on number one. Start again from this side. Tension off. Got a little bit of feedback on number two, so we'll try the middle one once again. Usually once you're pretty confident with two of the numbers, because this one here is a three wheel, with the third wheel we can just do process of elimination, try every single number. Not too confident at the moment, but we'll just try it. So back to the beginning. Bit of movement on zero. Bit of movement on two and there we have it guys. So there you have it guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. This is an easy way to be able to crack the code. I haven't come across a combination lock that I haven't been able to open using this method. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. As always, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bills Out 2.